welcome back to Humble Homemaking. As a homemaker, it can be pretty easy for me to come up with excuses as to why I don't really need to get ready for the day. This is just a disclaimer. This is my personal opinion. This is my perspective on this topic. I avoid that generic stay-at-home mom look that people think about when they think about a stay-at-home mom. And the look I'm talking about is sweatpants, pajamas, a bathrobe, slippers, hair up, messy, not brushed. And that is the look that I do my best to avoid. Getting ready for the day also makes last minute errands and last minute plans so much easier because I always look and feel my best. I make it an effort to wake up every single day and jump in the shower, clean myself off, wash my face. Sometimes I put on makeup. Not every single day does my face look like this or my hair look like this, but I still make it an effort make an effort to do something with my hair, face, and outfit. I just make sure that I'm not just throwing my hair up in a bun. I, if I feel that way, I challenge myself to put something in my bun to add a little bit of pizzazz to my hairstyle. Or if I don't feel like putting on makeup, I at least go through my no makeup routine where I make sure that my skin looks refreshed and vibrant. And no matter what, I always put on some jewelry. Usually it's a necklace and some earrings. Today it's just a ring and some earrings. I always put in that effort. And with my outfits, sometimes I wear more dresses and sometimes I will wear jeans. Now it depends on what I'm doing. If I'm working out, obviously I'll wear some sweatpants or some or some leggings, but I am cleaning the house. I do not like to wear leggings or sweatpants. I wake up every single day and I make sure that my hair is brushed. And like I said, I don't style it every single day, but I at least make the effort to brush it every single day. I've seen so many mothers joke about not brushing their hair for a week, and I know a child can be challenging, but make the effort to take care of yourself as much as you're taking care of your child. Don't neglect yourself because what I see happening is that moms start to resent their children or they start to resent parenting a little bit when they neglect taking care of themselves. Heatless overnight hairstyles. I do not wash my hair every single day. I wash it every five days. Sometimes I go a week without washing my hair. I spritz my hair with some water to get it damp. And then I do different hairstyles. I'll do my Bantu knots that I've mentioned. I'll do paper bag curls. I'll just braid my hair into two French braids. And then I go to bed and when I wake up, I I take my hair out and it's wavy or it's curly. It looks like I took a lot of time on my hair when really it was me sleeping. Try new things out with your hair. You do have that flexibility as a homemaker to try out new styles, walk around with new styles, and see how you feel about them. So I encourage you to try them out. My Pinterest board is linked below. The next thing I do every single day is I wash my face in the morning. Wake my skin up. Sometimes I do overnight masks like this one right here. So it is very, so it is very important for me to make sure that I'm cleansing my skin in the morning. After Working out, I make sure to wash my face in the morning because I do sweat, so that is very important because I don't want sweat to clog my pores and make me break out. The next thing is health. I work out three to five times a week, but even on my rest days, I make sure that I am moving around and doing something to keep my body active. And with homemaking, you're always moving around, you're cleaning stuff. I do my best to sit down as minimally as possible every single day. Even at my computer desk, which is where you are sitting right now, it is at a level where I can stand. So I prefer to stand when I'm at my computer and I'm doing things at my computer versus sitting down. It helps me keep my posture in check and it also prevents me from sitting down and slouching all the time. I also make the effort to get outside every single day for at least 30 minutes. Even on rainy days, I, I go outside, stand on my porch, breathe in the fresh air, observe the scenery, Nature is very healing. Just enjoy everything and absorb everything around me and take everything in. It is just a natural mood booster. Sometimes I'll go on short walks. And the next thing is outfits. Now, like I mentioned, you don't have to dress up every single day, but comfortable and casual do not mean just sitting around in sweatpants and leggings every single day. Comfortable and casual can be fashionable. Don't let anybody tell you any different. And when I do go the denim route, I pair it with a cute top or a sweater like I have on today. I just try and dress every outfit up just a tad, no matter what it is. And I'm not saying that I don't wear sweatpants. I do wear sweatpants, but I keep them for working out. I keep them for going to bed. I keep them for those very rare 
I need to be extra, extra cozy and comfy and cozy, comfy and cozy days, you know? So my beautiful homemakers, I challenge you to get ready for your day. You don't have to get fancy in a formal dress and put on a full face of makeup, unless you absolutely want to, but dress up a little more than you normally do. So if you normally wear sweatpants and a t-shirt with a mom bun that you haven't brushed all day long, instead try to put on maybe a nice long maxi dress with a sweater over it because maxi dresses for the summertime can be turned into fall and winter dresses with just the help of a sweater or a cardigan on top. And as for your hair, at least brush it and then put it back into the mom bun. But push yourself out of your comfort zone and you don't have to put on a full face of makeup like I said. You can just go and do a little no makeup routine, which I might take the time to make a video for that in the future so you can see what I'm talking about. But just make sure that you're dressing up a little more than you normally do, especially if your usual get up is sweats, pajamas, or worse, a bathrobe all day. Just push yourself out of your comfort zone to spend 10 to 15 extra minutes on yourself. Wake up a little earlier if you need to. Take a shower at night if you need to. Just try and push yourself out of your comfort zone. You will feel more productive and ready to take on the day and your confidence will be boosted a little bit. And if you absolutely can't get away from those leggings, I challenge you instead of putting on a sweatshirt, just a nice long tunic or a nice long sweater or cardigan over top of it and do something with your hair. Treat your homemaking job just like any other job and, and take pride in your appearance as you go on to do your daily tasks in your job. Homemaking does not mean you need to dress frumpy and comfortable all day long unless it's a special occasion and you're going out. You can dress up and look nice husband will start to notice that you're putting in a little bit more effort even though I'm sure he loves you no matter what you look like I'm sure it would make him happy to see that you're putting in some effort just like you were in the beginning of your relationship that concludes today's video I hope you enjoyed it if you liked this video please like comment and if you are not subscribed yet please subscribe and I will see you next time bye, -bye.